From expansive salt marshes along the Delaware Bay to pristine beaches lining our Atlantic coastline. From farmlands, forests, wetlands, rivers, and streams, New Jersey's diverse and fragile habitats form a rich tapestry of unique plants and animal life that are continuously under threat to survive. In the 1960s and 70s, New Jersey witnessed unprecedented losses of its natural communities. Ecosystems were dying at a rampant pace from pollution, pesticides, and unchecked development. Peregrine falcons, ospreys, and bald eagles were on the brink of extinction. With the passing of the Endangered Species Act in 1973, conservation plans were created to safeguard species and their habitats. With the ban of DDT and adoption of federal and state protections, Biologists from the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife's Endangered and Non-Game Species Program led the effort with successful restoration plans for eagles, peregrines, ospreys, and other species newly listed as endangered. However, by 1998, more staff, volunteers, and funding were needed. In response to this need, the nonprofit Conserve Wildlife Foundation of New Jersey was established to provide support and assistance. Our biologists are currently working on over 16 projects statewide to help protect at-risk birds, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals through field research, education, habitat restoration, and public outreach. CWF has tipped the scales on the survival of many of these species, but there is still so much more work to be done. Wildlife management is both an art and a science, with loss of natural environments the greatest threat. Just like humans, rare and endangered species have a hierarchy of habitat essentials needed to thrive, because every animal species, no matter how small, plays a vital role in the web of life. The majestic eagles, falcons, and ospreys have returned to grace the skies of the Garden State, marking a symphony of hope and resilience. And with their comeback comes a shift in focus toward maintaining stability in their breeding populations. Conserve Wildlife staff and project volunteers play a crucial role in supporting this recovery. With on-the-ground monitoring, banding, and nest management, we provide valuable data to the Endangered and Non-Game Species Program for targeted and adaptive species management. Since 2004, over 200 osprey platforms have been erected, aiding in the maintenance of structures and nests to support a thriving population. Our streaming webcams offer the public a bird's eye view into the lives of these remarkable raptors, enabling them to learn about their diet and parenting habits. These initiatives show how dedicated efforts can transform once endangered species into flourishing symbols of wildlife recovery today. The beaches, dunes, and salt marshes along the Atlantic coast and Delaware Bay are wondrous places for us to enjoy, but they also contain habitat from beach nesting, marsh, and migratory shorebirds. Piping plovers, least terns, black skimmers, and American oyster catchers need sandy beaches to lay their eggs and a safe haven for the chicks to survive. But human disturbance, the mounting threats from sea level rise, and predation and urgency to their plight. Tiny marsh birds such as the salt marsh sparrow and black rail are creeping dangerously close to extinction as coast marshes are lost to rising sea levels. Another concern revolves around the survival of the federally listed red knot, a migratory bird threatened by the decreasing supply of horseshoe crab eggs at their crucial stopover on Delaware Bayshore, eggs that are vital to fuel their journey to the Arctic to breed. Our biologists and volunteers help mitigate these challenges by creating safe zones, restoring habitats, resculpting the beaches, constructing ponds for chicks to feed, and educating visitors to share the shore with wildlife. Through trapping, bird banding, and extensive public outreach, we perform vital research to make a real and tangible difference in the lives of these birds 
and the ecosystems they call home. In early spring evenings, as raindrops touch the thawing ground, frogs and salamanders embark on their peak migration to mate and lay eggs in shallow vernal pools and wetlands. However, the journey is often perilous. During migration, hundreds of amphibians are killed by vehicles as they try to cross the roads at night. In 2002, the Amphibian Crossing Project was created to help. Every March, state and conserve wildlife biologists, along with hundreds of volunteers, act as crossing guards. They help reroute drivers, install signs to slow down, and gather crucial data on species counts and potential diseases. These initiatives are vital for the conservation of wood frogs, Jefferson and spotted salamanders, and northern spring peepers. Just one way we help to preserve a fragile amphibian population from disappearing. The bog turtle, a federally threatened and state endangered species that we monitor diligently, makes its home in wet meadows, fens, and shallow marshes. It's a small turtle that can fit in the palm of your hand and an excellent indicator of water quality. However, the challenges facing this little reptile are huge. The habitats they rely on have been overtaken by invasive plants and encroached upon by development, which impairs water quality. Biologists monitor bog turtle populations on private lands and partner with state, federal, and nonprofit allies to protect and restore bog turtle habitats by purchasing conservation easements and managing invasive vegetation that can block sunlight, a lifeline crucial for warmth and the incubation of precious eggs. The estuaries along our coast are where we find the beautiful diamondback terrapin, a native turtle listed as a species of special concern due to habitat loss, illegal trapping, predation, drowning in crab traps, and being run over by vehicles. We work to protect these vulnerable turtles by conducting road surveys and placing turtle crossing signs at key points, encouraging drivers to once again slow down. By installing protective cages around nests, removing abandoned crab traps, and educating the public, we hope to help these turtles survive along New Jersey's ever rapidly changing coast. They've been called creepy, scary, and spooky, but bats are really the unsung heroes of the night, using incredible skill and physiology to keep insects in check across our yards, forests, and fields. Despite their vital role, bats face threats from the loss of forest habitats, outright persecution by people, and in recent years, white nose syndrome, a devastating disease which has reduced over 90% of cave hibernating bats. Wildlife biologists work to protect nine bat species by using tools like mist netting, summer bat counts, and radio telemetry to monitor populations and better understand their habitats. Special acoustic detectors are used to measure diversity and track populations. Big brown and little brown bats can sometimes find shelter in structures like our homes and attics, where they're not always welcome. So we collaborate with homeowners to install bat boxes where those colonies can live safely and raise their pups. All these efforts help contribute to ongoing conservation efforts for this amazing mammal's preservation. Since 1998, Conserve Wildlife Foundation has educated tens of thousands of children and adults on the importance of wildlife conservation. Our Species on the Edge contest has reached over 12,000 students since 2003. 
This fifth grade art and essay contest encourages both research and creativity to learn about animals and their habitats. The new Species on the Edge 2.0 contest that launches this year challenges high school students to address real world issues and solve problems that impact endangered and threatened species. Our educators are also leading in-person programs across the state, including urban areas like Newark, Linden, and Trenton. Our cornerstone program, Soaring with STEAM, Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math, follows New Jersey student learning standards for science. This program provides a series of lessons and projects that strive to educate underrepresented minorities, addressing inequities, and opening pathways for students to become science professionals one day. It also offers a field trip component to get students outdoors to learn more about nature, ecology, and the delicate ecosystems in our state while having fun. Nurturing hope for the future of wildlife hinges on the dedication of our volunteers, donors, government agencies, and nonprofit partners who lend their time, treasure, and talent to ensure the legacy of New Jersey's natural heritage. As we look toward the future, we are reminded that our work is far from finished. We live in a changing world that's transforming the ecosystems on which people and wildlife depend. Each of us has a duty to protect our precious biodiversity ensuring a legacy for future generations. As renowned poet Gary Snyder wrote, nature is not a place to visit, it is home. And New Jersey is our home and we are the custodians. That is why we ask you to be our partner in protection. Your financial support will fund critical conservation projects, expand our educational programs, and strengthen the resolve needed to tackle the many environmental challenges we're facing today and tomorrow. The need for action is urgent because it is a race against time, but together there is hope. We can make a difference and give a voice to wildlife who cannot speak for themselves, which is what the Conserve Wildlife Foundation of New Jersey has done for the past 25 years.